In today's lesson, I'm going to introduce you to probability. <laughs> oh, hey, look, Math Monster, I was just about to introduce probability. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I know, I heard, so I got a lottery ticket because the commercial made it seem like I would be a winner. Well, Unlock Math Monster, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the commercials were misleading you a little bit. Hmm. But why don't you sit back and let me tell you about it? Okay, hold on just one minute. Okay, now I'm ready. Now, as a reminder, in Unit 4, we introduced ratio. And a ratio is a comparison of two numbers. For instance, 150 students out of 200 voted for a particular student for student body president. Write a ratio to represent this situation. Well, there are different ways in which we can do that. We can write it as 150 over 200. We can write it as 150 to 200. Or we could also write it as 150 colon 200. These are all ratios that are equivalent. They mean the same thing. So ratios can look like fractions, but we cannot add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Ratios are simply used for comparison. However, we can simplify and compare ratios the same way that we do with fractions. So six, to, six over 10 is equivalent to three over five, because six over 10, if we simplify that, we get three over five. Six colon 10 is equivalent to three colon five, and six to 10 is equivalent to three to five. These are, there are infinite possibilities of equivalent ratios that you could write, meaning you can write as many as you want. So what is probability? Well, if we have an event, there is, it is never going to happen, it is always going to happen, or somewhere in between. Well, often probability is expressed as a fraction or percent. Never is zero, and always is one. Now remember, between zero and one is a decimal, and decimals, any decimal, can be written as a fraction or percent. So the fact that the sun is going to rise tomorrow is a certain probability, which is one. Or we could say 100%. We know 100% that the sun is definitely going to rise. The closer a probability is to one, the more likely it is to happen. Well, we know that humans living on the sun right now, there is no chance that that is gonna happen. There is no zero, the probability is zero or zero percent. So, the closer a probability is to zero, the least likely it is to happen. Probability is a pr prediction of how likely it is that an event is going to happen. It's a ratio of successful outcomes to the number of total possible outcomes. And we write it like this. So, we write the probability is equal to the number of successful outcomes over the number of total outcomes. So where is probability used? Well, believe it or not, the weatherman actually uses probability to make a prediction. He looks at a lot of data with similar conditions to any given day, and from that he makes a weather prediction. Why do you suppose a coin is often used to uh, determine who goes first in a game? Well, what do we know about a coin? We know that it has heads and it has tails, and so either possibility is equally likely and is considered fair. Well, when you look at a lottery ticket, like Unlock Math Monster did, oftentimes, or sometimes, you can see what the probability is that you will win, so you know what you're getting into. So you think, how hard can it be, right? So you buy your ticket and you do your happy dance, you think you're gonna win, just like Unlock Math Monster did, and then somebody tells you there were 20 million tickets sold and you only have one and you and Unlocked Math Monster start to cry because your dreams of all of that money that you might win have begun to fly away. People use probability to make decisions every day whether they realize it or not. Which route to take to work, which type of insurance to buy, or if they need it. Probability is used in these to be sure that the outcome is optimal. 
And that is your introduction to probability.